Joining us for, to tell us about an exciting African art event is Ndimiya Kimwakaliele. Hello, Ndimi. Well, thank you, Vincent, and hello, everyone. An art show in London showcased African art from over 70 artists, giving an insight into art from across the continent. More than 70 artists from Africa displayed their work at a central London art fair entitled 154, the first international fair exclusively for modern and contemporary African art. The fair, part of an annual event called Freeze Week, was founded by Turia El Glawi, daughter of famous Moroccan artist Hassan El Glawi, in recognition of the growing interest in art from all parts of the continent. Based on the first few days and uh, the people and the review and the excitement of the first days and the people coming and buying and the collectors, I know for sure that there's a huge appetite for contemporary African art. Artists from east, west, north and southern parts of Africa brought their work for all to see. Photography featured prominently in the show with Nigerian gallery owner Oliver Enwonwu, who also publishes an art magazine displaying works from several photographers. Enwonwu says the exposure will push African art into the international limelight. With exhibitions like this or art fairs like this, Africa will begin to find more of a voice on the international uh, um, scene. Um, in the past, um, African art was not admitted into modern canons or modern discourse. But right now, things are changing. And one who says there's a new wave of African artists who combine both traditional forms with modern aesthetics. And they're beginning to see a, a very, very distinctive flavor of modern African art, where you still have the, the abstraction, the expressionism of Africa coupled or fused with Western techniques. And I think that is why you know, there's so much interest that's coming on to contemporary and modern African art. Now. Nigerian artist Sukari Douglas Camp who works with metals, says that holding 154 under the umbrella of London's annual major art fair, Freeze, is a great achievement. The fact that we're on at the same time as Freeze is a plus, I think. And um, the fact that we might get audiences from Freeze is another plus. And the fact that we're a little bit different from Freeze is another bonus. So it's just win, win, win. The artworks displays at London's Somerset House ended last Sunday. And as mentioned, more than 70 artists from across the continent showcased their work at 154. One of them was Zimbabwean artist Richard Mudariki, who joins us now via Skype from Cape Town, South Africa. Mr. Mudariki, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me. So um, you told me earlier that you did not make it to London for the, exhib for the exhibition, but your artwork did. Uh, tell us how you got to participate. Um, my work was, um, was part of a collection of, um, of the Museum of Modern Art from Equatorial Guinea, and they were showcasing their collection there at the fair. So unfortunately, my work was part of the, the exhibition there. I understand it was a really big deal to be picked and then also participate, have all these people from all over the place coming to see your artwork. How, what, what is your personal take on that as an artist? I, I think the, the fair, as, as, as reported in one of your reports, it, it's a very important event for the African artists and the African art scene in a whole because it, it gave... It gave um, Africa, African art exposure to the world. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, just to quote the, the founding director of, I, of 120, or 154, and that is Toria El Glawi, who said that she thought about the yeah. idea of having this fair because there is so much interest in African art. Now, from, from an artist's That's perspective, true. do you see that it's increasing? And, and what is creating that interest? I... Personally, I think uh, in the art world, Africa, African art is the next big thing coming maybe in the next five years and beyond. And I think um, it's the increasing interest is the, the fact that it's something new and original mm -hmm. and, and the world is looking for that. We have a few shots of uh, your personal work. Uh, tell us about yeah. it. One of them is really bright. I like it. And it has... Uh, South African uh, Bishop Desmond Tutu in, among them. Yes. 
Um, that painting is called the the Last Judgment. It's it's is a painting I I painted uh, earlier this year, and depicts a scene as similar to that of Michelangelo's, which they have at the Sistine Chapel in Italy. But in this one, the final judgment is being placed down on world political leaders mm -hmm. by Nelson Mandela and the Queen. Oh. It's sort of like uh, a comment on on justice for all. I see. Well, thank you so uh, much. Um, and congratulations to you and all the other art artists who got to showcase their work in London. Thank and you very much. Thank you. Richard Mudariki is a contemporary visual artist from Zimbabwe, and he joined us via Skype from Cape Town. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thanks a lot, and Demi, and that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. And once again, thanks a lot, and uh, have a good night.